Hi friends, it's time for today's math video. It is our last math video for the school year. Um, and uh, instead of playing a game or doing a Nearpod, I decided that we should do some practice story problems. Um, so if you'd like to do it along, uh, grab something to write with and we'll get started. Pause the video, go get something to write with, come back and we'll do some story problems, okay? Okay, friends, I have some story problems uh, for the last day of math. Uh, so grab something to write with if you haven't done so already, and we'll do some math together on our last video. Um, these story problems will be either addition, where we put two numbers together, or subtraction, take away, where we take some away. You ready? Let's get started. Here is our first story problem, and it's starring Miss Hales. You ready? Our story problem says, Miss Hales spelled seven words. She erased three so she could spell some more. How many words were left on her whiteboard? Miss Hales spelled seven words. She erased three so she could spell some more. How many words were left on her whiteboard? Go ahead. Pause the video, see if you can figure this out, write a number sentence, and then press play and we'll check your work. All right, let's check your work. I'm gonna draw a picture first. Um, I'm gonna use lines and pretend those are the words that Miss Hales is writing on her whiteboard. And she started with seven, so I'm gonna go ahead and write seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, then she erased three. So I'm going to cross out three. And I notice that she has four left. Let's write a number sentence, friends. Uh, to write a subtraction number sentence, we start with the whole. Then we take away the takeaway part. And equals is what's left. So she started with seven words. She erased three. And that leaves four left. Did you get that too? Great job, friends. All right, let's continue. Uh, this story problem stars Miss Arnold, and it says, Miss Arnold was really excited to teach her students about animals from all over the world. She read five books. She found them so interesting that she read three more. How many animal books did she read? So she read five books, and then she read three more. How many animal books, animal books did she read? Go ahead and pause the video, work it out, press play, and we'll check your work. All right, let's check your work. You ready? She started by reading five books. I'm going to draw a picture. One, two, three, four, five. Then she read three more because she thought that were so interesting. One, two, three. And if we count them all up, friends, she read one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight books. Friends, we are putting the numbers together. So this is a addition problem. So she started with reading five books plus three more books equals eight books all together. Did you get that too? Great job. All right, let's continue. This story problem stars me. And if you could tell uh, that confused look on my face, it probably because it's something went wrong. Let's read the story. Mr. Fishpaw loves math. He wrote nine number sentences. Oh no, he realized that he made some mistakes. He erased two of them. How many are left? So he wrote nine, but made some mistakes and had to erase two of them. How many were left? Go ahead and pause the video, work it out, and see if you can write a number sentence about for this story problem. Press play when you're ready to check your work. All right, let's check your work. So he wrote nine story problems. I'm going to use lines again. Actually, let's use uh, plus signs. Yeah. Um, I'm going to use plus signs for the nine sentences that he wrote. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And 
he had to erase two of them because he made mistakes. Uh, let's see how many are left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven were left. Friends, since we are, since the number got smaller and we took some away, we're going to write a subtraction sentence. So he started with nine number sentences. He had to erase two of them. And that left seven. Nine take away two equals seven. Did you get that? Great job, friends. All right, one more. This is the way problem stars Mr. Manko. You ready? Mr. Manko wanted to tell the students goodbye for the summer. He went to eight Zoom calls in the morning and two more Zoom calls in the afternoon. How many Zoom calls did he have? He had eight in the morning and two in the afternoon. How many Zoom calls did he have? Go ahead, pause this video, work it out, write a number sentence, press play to check your work. All right, let's check your work. You ready? He had eight Zoom calls. Um, let's see. I'm going to use circles. Make it easy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight Zoom calls. Then in the afternoon, he had two more. One, two. I don't even need to count that because I was doing five groups. That is 10 Zoom calls all together. Five and five is 10, friends. Great job. All right, uh, because he had eight and then he added two more, we're gonna add an addition sentence, okay? So, eight Zoom calls in the morning plus two more in the afternoon equals 10. Did you get that, friends? Great job. All right, that is our last story problem, okay? Okay, so as I said earlier, today is our last math video. I hope everyone has a great summer. I had so much fun being your teacher. Um, I cannot wait to see everyone in the fall. Hopefully we can see each other um, in the school building this fall. Uh, good luck in first grade. And uh, again, have some fun this summer, and um, I hope to see you in the fall. Take care, friends. Bye.